Good morning. Oops. Well, I think I'm live. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? Oh, can't find myself on the computer. Bear with me a second, ladies. Hey, Monica. All right, what's going on here? How are we all this morning? I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday morning. Um, there we go. Now I've found it. Oh God, I can hear myself. Hang on. Mute. Mute. There we go. And now I need to get back, see your comments. Okay, there's a few of you there. Goodness me. Sorry guys. Good morning, Michelle, Chrissy. Hello, Chrissy. How are you? Lovely. All right, today I am doing a lovely little live Facebook here with using stencils. So as part of the uh, International Creative International Craft Show that's going on this weekend, I thought, yep, as, a, as per normal, I will do a whole heap of live Facebooks to keep you um, educated, interested, creative, all of the things. And today is stamps, stencils and dies. So today on nataliemay.com.au, we have got 15% off of stamps, stencils, dies and all Christmas things. So what that means for you is like major bonus, but we uh, got yeah, all of our bits and pieces on special for you, with the exception of the Natalie May scrapbooking branded products. That is the only thing that is not on special. So you can find those online. Plus we have a massive clearance section, which is this here, like at least 30% off. So you've got to get on board with that. We've got some fantastic bundles happening. We have got a special with the Art by Marlene single paints as well um, there is a daily prize draw which I have drawn this morning yesterday's lucky order was Karen Thorne from Tasmania and we have a show special of no judgment postage which is uh, pay only $12.50 for your first order order again select no judgment at the checkout and then we'll bundle all your orders together and you only pay the postage one time postage is not free and limited to three kilos in australia only all right so let's get into this let's make this happen so i've got a little list here in front of me i am a girl with a plan and a puppy training pad love that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through some fun and easy techniques with stencils okay lots of different things that you can do so what that means is any sort of stencils that you have these techniques are going to work okay so i want to flood your minds with lots of ideas this morning right let's start off with alcohol ink bring out the rubber glove uh, okay, so alcohol ink. Alcohol ink, which I showed you yesterday, works fantastic and best on a synthetic paper called Yupo or a, a gloss card stock. What I have here in front of me at the moment is I have two colours of alcohol ink and I am putting them onto a gloss card stock. Now I'm going to pop my stencil down like that and I'm just going to drip some more on and then I'm going to pop it aside and let it dry. This is a really cool fun technique. Um, takes a little bit to dry because you do need to let it dry naturally, air dry it. And I'm using fluoro purple and fluoro blue here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press this in with my hands, hand, 
wipe hand on baby wipe baby wipe puppy training pad and then I'm going to pop this aside to dry all right so you can see that that's looking lovely and juicy on here so really really nice all right um, on floor so there's our first technique now what does that look like when it dries well here's one I prepared earlier I know, look at me being all organised this morning. All right, so what happens when it dries? This is using the fluoro alcohol inks, exactly the same colours that I just used from Couture Creations. And as you can see, they're a little bit matte. They've got a little bit of a matte finish. I have done exactly the same thing as I just did then. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off this background to show you. Look at that, looks great. So you get this really weird, awesome background and it dries looking fantastic. Um, how do you clean your stencil? Hand sanitizer will do the job just nicely. I'm actually just gonna be a bit cheeky here and I've just got a piece of, I don't even know what that is, card, there we go. Uh, and just gonna give it a light spray with if I was spraying with water, it might not work, but that's what I've got handy. And I'm going to sit that on there to dry. And then peel it off, just in case I get any stencil transfer. So I'm using one stencil. Oh no, there we go. Has, has created a really light, faded alcohol ink sort of wash on it. I could have left that dry, but I'm impatient. So, you know, that's the thing. So that kind of works. Um, now... The next thing, so that is alcohol inks. Like, seriously, takes no time at all. And it's really, really fun. Like, that colour is so, so very vibrant. vibrant. So I've actually done that on a gloss cardstock. Okay? Bam. Done. Tick that box. Rubber glove, be gone. It's my last rubber gloves too. I have to get some more. All right. Technique number two is going to be working with Distress Oxides and Blending Tools. So I have a couple of Distress Oxides here. I have a brush, just one of these cool brushes. Uh, what have I got? Um, ladies, I'm just going to zoom my camera forward a little bit. Um, just if you look away and you get if you get seasick look away now just bear with me just coming up a little closer just waiting for me to catch up on screen so because i have a delay here oh that's better except for my handprint there let's just get rid of that there we go a bit closer for you Okay, so let's talk about Distress Oxides. So Distress Oxides are awesome for stencils. This is a Paper Rose stencil. Um, I have got two colours here in Distress Oxides. I have got Blueprint Sketch and the brand new Villainous Purple, um, a villain, Villainous Potion. Uh, Michelle has commented saying, starting to like purple, hey? Um, I'm starting to like a blue and purple combination, okay? Let's just say that. Let's not overdo it on the purple, Michelle. Calm down, babe. All right, got some paper towel handy just to clean off my brush. And what I'm going to do is take my brush, nice juicy amount here, and I really need that on that side, that's better. And I'm going to do like a graduated blend down my stencil. So just in a round circular motion, I'm going to add my colour on. So I can grab this purple, which is gorgeous. So we have a ton of the brand new colour in stock here for you at the moment. This villainous purple is the new colour from Tim Holtz 
and it does look pretty amazing. Now, when you're stenciling, there's a couple of things that you can do. You could use a stamp platform to hold your stencil in place. Um, you could, like an, an, and a magnet, um, or you could use some washi tape to stick it all down to your surface, or you could just hold it really firmly like I'm doing and make it happen, um, which works for me. All right, so round circular motion. Now this blending tool is uh, working a treat. They're quite inexpensive. They wash up really, really well. Um, and you can go back over the top, layer up your colors like this. You can blend colors into each other and it works really well. Um, I'm going to change my tool now. I have a Ranger blending tool with a dome on it and I can do exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna start off with my blue, put a nice amount of ink on there and I'm gonna come down here. Now they're not going to marry up. Oh, they might, hang on, maybe, no. I can't be bothered trying to work that out. All right. So I can do exactly the same thing. Get in here with my blending tool and you can give this a little bit more coverage. It will give it a bit more coverage with um, the domed blending tool. And again, you can wash and wear, wash and reuse, wash and wear. I must need another coffee. but you can swipe it, wipe it, and I'm kind of following the direction of the stencil. All right, so I'm using a Dina Wakely number 10 tag on my background here. All right, so that's worked really quite well. Now, distress oxides, stencils, tick. Technique number two. Technique number three is going to be using the dirty stencil. So all I'm going to do is just take my water spray. This is um, my Nuvo Light Mist Spray Bottle and some fancy Adelaide water in it. And I'm just going to lightly mist the stencil. I'll pop it down in the middle. So it's got a, a nice little mist of water on it. Press it down. I like to use some paper towel to press it all down. You could let that sit and dry, but that will also work really, really well. So then you get the negative. So that is technique number three. And I can go again. There's plenty on there to do it again. I'm just dropping my stencils into a tub of water down here next to me so they actually stay clean. Um, I really like that, they work really, really nicely. So you could do that with any, any water-based ink that'll come up an absolute treat. All right, so no problems with that one. Righty-o, what have we got? Step, tip, uh, blah, blah, blah. Technique number three, we are going to use acrylic paint and a blending tool. So today I'm going to be using Smurf and Fuchsia. I'm just, there we go. I've got a paint palette here that I can squeeze my paint onto. Uh, and so these are the Art by Marlene acrylic paints that are currently on special for $7.50 a tube. That's a significant amount of paint. And this one is fuchsia. So you can use any paint, but this is gonna work for me today. Right, so the stamp, sorry, the stencil that I've chosen, this is a paper artsy stencil. So these are all 15% off at the moment. And this one comes like this, where you just get your scissors and snip off the little attaches to take it out of the Set. 
So Paper Artsy are a fantastic brand. They've got some wonderful designers. And they are fabulous. Really nice, versatile designs. And I do believe this is a Tracy Scott design. Rightio. So I'm going to pop a little of this paper towel down in my background here just because I'm going to get a little bit painty and I'm going to use the blending tool uh, I could use a I could use a, um, a flat blending tool I could use a dome blending tool it won't really matter so bit of paint on here I'm not saturating I'm just getting a nice coverage here and I'm going to Pop it on and I'm just dabbing it. You can dab it, you can swipe it, you can get it on in lots of different ways. I am not even going to change up my tool. I'm going to mix the two colours together and I can do that because the colours that I have chosen are next to each other on the colour wheel so they're going to work. And I can go back in and layer up. Blending as I go. Wonderful. And I'm going to go down here and do the same thing again. And I'm holding my, my stencil nice and firm. And it's just acrylic paint, so it is working beautifully. And like I said, I can get in there and I can dab it to make the colours more intense if I need to, like that. Or I can swipe them out to, to blend it. So these techniques that I'm showing you are fantastic for art journaling, for card making, for scrapbook layouts. Lots and lots and lots of different techniques. You're only limited to your imagination. So... Um, and now I can, you know, finish my tag off by adding some blending around the corner. And voila, nice and easy and done. So there we go. Number four, that one is. Excellent. Technique number four with a stencil. Okay, so the other next thing I want to do is I want to bring out the gel plate again. The gel plate, like I was talking about when I did the live yesterday, is a super sensitive printing plate. It's a wobbly little thing, but what it does is it creates a fantastic impression of whatever you put on it. So you can do so many, so many things with it. You do need to use a brayer. So I have a brayer here. This is a brayer. And you do need to have some paper handy, um, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little paint on, like so, a little squiggle. And I'm now going to roll it out with my brayer. Take my piece of paper and a stencil. So this is one, this is my scribble stencil, uh, the Natalie May scrapbooking one, and I'm gonna push that into there. And then with my paper, I'm gonna press it down. So you do need a couple of sheets of paper because what happens is you get a couple of different pulls. A pull, a pull, P-U-L-L. -L. Pull number one gives you that. Eh, you know, it's kind of okay. Pull number two is what's left on the plate.
And there's so many very awesome techniques that you can do with this. It's really, really cool. There you go. So this works really great with lots and lots and lots of different um, styles of stencil. I'm just cleaning off my brayer here onto there. And I could, I could play with this all day. <laughs> It is just the nicest thing to do to make your own pattern papers. Now, the other thing I've got is I now have a dirty stencil here. So if I take some of that fancy Adelaide water again, and I may have left that too long, I'm just going to use that now and see if I can pull off any of the print. So I'm just using the brayer to press it down because it's handy. There you go. And oops, whoa, 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 whoa. Butterfingers, okay. So that's worked really well. If I'd left that on there a little bit longer, it would have, um, it would have dried a little bit crisper, but I have another quick and easy technique. Done, tick, happy days. And I'm gonna take that off and pop that in some water. Wonderful, and I'm gonna close that and that's done. So that is the gel plate with a stencil. Wonderful. What is next on my list? Gel medium. So gel medium is a, oh, hey Louise. Yeah. Could you please grab my two tags that are drying in the sun? Sure. Whoops. Um, so gel medium is a fantastic adhesive. It's really, really good for collaging, but it's also, it creates a resist technique. So this one here is the Impasto Gel Medium by Chromacryl. This is my go-to. I use it in my art journals a lot. It's a really awesome product. I'm using my Lumps stencil. Dry. Are they dry? Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you. Um, I'm using my Lumps stencil and I've got my number 10 tag here. Let's get these paints out of the way. Try and keep a clean area for a change. Um, there we go. So my stencil is dirty, just ignore that. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit flippant with cleaning my stencils, but that's okay. All right, so this is an impasto gel medium, which means that it is, it's got some body to it. So I am just going to use my gel medium and follow the design of the, the stencil. So I'm working across each individual strip here with my catalyst tool or my, you could use a palette knife, you could use your finger, you could use whatever you like. But what I particularly like about doing this is that it dries with body. So the impasto means it's gonna dry with body, which is what we want. Lid back on. Um, baby wipes, sorry guys for reaching across the camera. Because I need to do that. Righty O. So you need to peel that off. And then I can put that in some water. You need to clean it immediately because it is a glue. So what has happened here is it has dried with body. So you can see that body that it has, and it's going to dry like that. Here's one I prepared earlier. Now, as you can tell, I used a dirty stencil, but the overall effect is the same. Now with these, so that's going to leave a bit of a resist now. So I could use my, what did we use here? Was that acrylic paint? Which one was the Distress Oxides? I could blend over the top of it. Okay. And just use a, a paper towel, not a baby wipe, to wipe off the excess. And you can see that it's created a resist. And that works really well. What I love to do with this is I love to use a spray. So I have a Lindy's Starburst spray, and this one is called Dragonfly Denim. This is from the brand new 
uh, set of Lindy's that was released this week. Um, I do believe I have sold, almost sold out, but I have some more on the way. So I've activated my spray. I'm going to give a give it a good shake and go from there. Um, and now I'm going to spray that. Now, it's the first time I've used this colour, so let's go. Woof. Hello, navy blue. Isn't that beautiful? Um, so that, you can see what is happening. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll my paper towel over the top and you will see that it has taken off the paint off the resist. So that's what gel medium does through a stencil with a spray. Could you try again? Stop talking to me. Um, Alison, the comment, uh, Alex, sorry, I've just says had a comment um, as I'm filming here. Are the paint packs, no, they're not discounted, darling, only the individual paints. All right, so these are, that gives you the uh, just gel medium through a stencil with the Lindy's sprays. So that works great. Now, while I am working in that sort of style, I'm going to show you how to do it with texture paste as well. So texture paste is a paste that is going to dry with texture. It could also be called a modeling paste. This is the one that I like to use. Um, and I'm going to use this with my hexed stencil. So another one of the Natalie May scrapbooking ones. What I like about this particular product is that I can just squeeze it on. So modeling paste, texture paste, does a very similar thing. And I'm just gonna spread it out like I'm putting peanut butter on toast. Woo, look at that, beautiful. Uh, and I'm just gonna take that excess off of there. Clean that. Now, when I peel this off, it is going to be just like the gel medium where it dries, leaving that impression there. And then I'm gonna pop that straight into water so that I can clean it off. And you can see that that body is sitting there. Actually, I'm going to. This is what I quite often do when I clean my stencils is I will start a new art journal page by scraping any excess off into there. Waste not, want not. Okay. Um, so, what, right, there we go. Now, when that dries, what happens is it has dried with texture. Now, modeling paste is not going to offer a clear resist like the gel medium will, but here's one I prepared earlier. You can see that body that's dried with, and it's a bit rough as well. So let's give that one a spray with the Lindy's. I'll grab a different color. So this is the new Enchanted set, Enchanted Forest, that was released, it was only released really yesterday, but I may or may not have been privy to some beforehand. So let's give it a good spray. This colour is called Gnome Mary Bordeaux, Gnome Berry Bordeaux, it's a mouthful. There we go. So what's happening as, and as this dries, the color is gonna pull in and around that texture paste. So that's really beautiful. That's coming up looking great. So there's another quick and easy technique that you can do with a stencil with texture paste. Tick that box off. Pop that down on the floor. Right, my next thing is, I'm gonna keep this out and I'm going to use Lindy's spray since I have a couple here and I'm gonna do it with a stencil. So this is a paper artsy stencil 
and I'm going to what am I going to do? I'm going to do that design and that design. Right. So when I have a tag like this and I want to use a stencil that is going to join up, what I tend to do is I will mask off an area at the bottom. So what that means is I will grab a piece of paper towel, paper towel coming out of my ears here, and I will mask that off. Put it where I want it to go. Something like that. And now I can spray it. So I'm gonna use this gorgeous denim, dragonfly denim again. Give it a shake before using it. And when you spray with a stencil, I like to make sure it's all nice and flat. And I move across like this and I don't over spray it I will just do that now I'll do this side here I'm going to join that up now I don't want to put that down on there because I don't want it to um, I don't want to lose that print so I'm just gonna lightly do that and there we go so I can stencil on a tag, and I did I did <laughs> drag the stencil over it there, but you get the idea. Uh, and now, of course, I have got, I've got all of this goodness sitting on the stencil. So let's make the most of that. Transfer that, use it as a stamp. Wonderful. Transfer it over, I can get a bit more of an abstract sort of finish. So you can have a real play using sprays and you can use any sort of spray. So if you've got Lindy's or if you've got Dilutions or if you've got Dina Wakely Gloss Sprays, you can use so many different sorts of techniques to, for spraying. But my tip when you're using a spray is to, to, to move it across like that because what's going to happen if you spray it all in one spot, it's going to leave a mark and probably bleed under your stencil a lot more. Okay, so it's best to move it around a bit so that you get a... A nice coverage this is why I use a puppy training pad you can see that excess there all right done done and done there's another quick and easy stencil righty oh what else have we got on my list um stamping over a mask all right so what I've got is a scrap effects mask and stencil so this is one of the new alice in wonderland designs this has been incredibly popular in the last couple of days i can tell you right now um, so what a mask is is the bit that comes out this bit this is the stencil this is the mask so what i'm going to do is now i know you're probably going to get a little reflection with this so please just bear with me but I'm going to stamp inside here. And I'm gonna do it with Blueprint Sketch. Okay, that's. let me just turn that light down so we don't get any ring on it. Can you still see it? Let me see if it disappeared completely. Oh no, there we go, we're good. No, we still got that bloody ring, hang on. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. All right, so for this purpose, I will turn the light right off. All right, so you can see that I've got that shape there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my won't let you down stamp, and you can stamp anything in this area. This is just another cool technique. And you can stamp over the top. I don't like to use a block because a block won't allow me to push it all the way in with my finger. A 
like this. So this is the Won't Let You Down stamp um, that I have designed and it is just words in a typewriter font and uh, it's also one of the ones that are not on sale. All right, there we go. I missed her feet. So I'm getting the letters right in there. And I've got that outline. So this can work with all sorts of different images. I know you can, you can see how that's worked. Um, I could also use, I'll just do it on this side, the other side to, you know, blend with, which one was, there we go, this one. With my Distress Oxide. layering up as you go so I'm kind of getting into the middle here so I'm going to go back with my purple sorry my blue voila Okay, so that would be fantastic on a page, um, on an art journal page, on a card background. Um, I could now take my stamp and stamp over the top, which is not showing up very well on camera, but it does work. Um, so yeah, very, very cool, very, very easy. Okay, lovely, another one done, tick. All right, um, let's talk about how to use the mask, this bit. Now, this time, sorry guys, I'm gonna turn my light back on because I can't see it. It's my old, old lady eyes are just kicking in this morning. All right, this time I wanna mask around Alice. I'm using recycled tags here, so I just, that's a bonus. Uh, this time I'm going to use black. So this is a technique that works wonderful on uh, an art journal page. Get yourself a, a tear off paint palette or whatever you want to use. Uh, this one here, I'm going to pop it straight in the middle. Get my blending tool. Get my black onto my tool here. And I'm going to push the colour up to... the edge of my mask. So this is the mask element. So we're using it to mask off an area on our project. So you could do this with Distress Oxides, you could do this with any sort of ink. I'm choosing uh, black, black paint today and I've possibly gone a little bit thick, but let's find out. And I can go cover the rest of my tag. Peel that up, and I have the um, impression of where she was. So I can put that back up, line it up again. I could also be a little bit clever, use my Lindy spray. Some paper towel because I feel a mess coming on. Give it a light spritz now I'm going to gently lift this up with the edge of my with my craft knife 
because I don't want to touch the mask element, right? I want to do that. So that's worked, other than the fact that I've got some dirty bits in there. Also worked quite well. Uh, I've run out of tags. And now I can stamp with that. Okay, so, and this is now a creative element that I can get a paintbrush and colour in, make it more, um, you know, detailed, but I'm using the mask in a different way. So think about art journaling, think about a scrapbook layout, think about how you can make that work for you. So there is another technique using a mask and a stencil out of the same design. So that is the Alice in Wonderland one. Oh, smashing through it here guys. I've got two more to do here. So the this one I'm going to do is using watercolours. Watercolours are fun and easy. Watercolours, most people have lots of different watercolours. This is my favourite set of watercolours and it is the Altenew set. I use my because they're watercolours, I use my water spray to activate them first. I'm keeping my tear off palette here because I do want to use that. Um, but what I want to do is I want to grab a paintbrush and I want to paint colour straight onto my stencil this time. So instead of painting the paper, I want to paint my stencil. So let's choose a colour here. And I'm just going to do this. So I've got a couple of colours. And I'm just following the... I'm keeping it kind of a similar sort of... There we go. Bit of water. Bit of a, um, a similar sort of thickness of paint so it's a decent juicy sort of paint just off camera I'm just dipping my paintbrush into some water getting it on there like that and that is ample so I've got my paper here now I could stamp that straight onto, you can see I've got a nice juicy amount there. I'm just going to use my fancy Adelaide water again. Spray it lightly just to make sure it's nice and wet and drop it. Drop it, drop it like it's hot. Uh, while that, and I obviously dropped that straight into the paint, my other paint that's sitting there. So I can push that down with some paper towel, put my hand on it, give it a bit of pressure. Need to peel it up. There you go. That's worked great. And I have another piece here of paper because I've still got some on there. So I can just go again, give it another spray with fancy Adelaide water, drop it like it's hot. Seriously, you would not believe the mess that I've got going on here because of having too many things on my desk. All right. Still getting an impression. So this works fantastic on, again, art journal pages, a subtle card front. So many cool things you can do with that. Dropping that in my bucket of water. Paint everything. Oh, now it's on the floor. Radio. Last technique. So this last technique is one that I haven't done in a while. 
um, only because I'm a little bit time poor at the moment of my own doing, but I'm going to use a stencil to draw. Draw, draw, draw. So this one is the Believe You Can stencil from Scrap FX. Just make it so that you don't you can see it without any glare. And it is a face with some words down the side. Uh, I'm just grabbing my art, one of my art journals out because I think it will go better. On an art journal. So here's an art journal page. You see all the stenciling in the back here? There's all sorts of different techniques on this one with, oh, for goodness sakes, Natalie. Get rid of that. All sorts of different stencil techniques. We have got stencil with a blending tool and paint. We have got dis, uh, gloss sprays in the background here. I stamped with gloss sprays. Done lots of things. Oh, look at that. There's a, a mask where I have sprayed him and used it as a mask. So lots and lots of cool things that you can do. All right, here's a background page here that is painted up. Obviously I've cleaned off a brush and decided I wanted to prep myself a background ready to go. So now I can take this and I could use a paint pen, I could use a ballpoint pen, I've got a micron pen here, it doesn't matter what sort of pen, but you can take the image and I'm going to outline and then I can go back in and, and colour. But this is excellent because this makes it look like you have drawn the image. Which is, you know, kind of what we're all after. There's so many very, very awesome things that you can do with stencils. And that is why I love them. So I'm going to very, very loosely colour this so that you can have a, a quick look at it. And while I'm doing this, let me remind you about all of the cool things happening today. So we have got on nataliemay.com.au, today being Saturday the 27th of November. Gosh, I had to think about that. Um, the, we've got stamps and stencils and dies at 15% off. So that, uh, that is paper artsy. We have got Dina Wakeley, we've got Dilusions, we've got this company. Scrap Effects, Australian company. Uh, we have got oh, Pink Ink. We have got Altenew. We've got all sorts. We've got Stencil Girl. We have got a huge, huge range of products discounted. Um, the only thing that you will find that is not in the sale is the Natalie May Scrapbooking branded products, okay? they have an exemption on them. All right, what else have we got? We have got the paints from Art by Marlene. The single tubes of paint, you will find those at $7.50 a tube instead of $9.30. So they are a fantastic show special. We also have some storage solutions by Totally Tiffany. And you'll find these in the show tab on the side of the website, uh, show specials. Um, and they are discounted as well. So there's pop-up rubbish bins. There are desk caddies for your, um, for your supplies. Uh, and it's a couple of other bits and pieces there as well that are discounted. We have got a Art by Marlene Lucky Dip. So we have a very cool Lucky Dip going where it's a valued at $60 um, and it's exactly that, it's a lucky dip. So um, it is not up to me to pick what goes in that lucky dip. That is my lovely Louise doing that and that is going to, it's a $36 lucky dip. So nearly half price and it might be a random stencil, it might be a random stamp, it might be a random die. Um, there's lots of awesome things 
there. What else have we got? We've got the embellishment bundle, which includes a Vicky Booten product, um, a... Hey, what's in the embellishment bundle? What's in the embellishment bundle? I've had a brain fade. Um, I can't move my hand to get my piece of paper next to me because I'm holding down the stencil. Anyway, so we have a fantastic embellishment bundle as well. And we... The, um, the glitter paper. Oh, the glitter paper. The, the Vicky Booten. Oh, the Vicky Booten uh, stickers and the wood veneers. Or is that on the... No, no. Oh, it's got the other ones, the other wood veneers. The Kayser ones. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the tag and stencil bundle which you get a set of tags, set of white tags with um, paper a paper rose stencil and some American Crafts veneers. So plenty of fabulous designs there, or fabulous specials there for you. Um, all right, so there you go. So I've just used that stencil, which looks like that, to do this. So I can now go in with a you know, a black pen and I can finalize some of these. I can extend some lines out like I just did there. I can make the lips different, fuller, play with it however I want. I could change it. I could add a love heart to her cheek, which is great because I've got love hearts here. So this is a really great way to use a stencil as well. And this can work with any design, any design at all. All right, so let's have a little recap. I love that. I really love that. I'm gonna come back to that. So we have got stenciling with a pen, with this one here. We have got watercolors. So the watercolor page, hit the floor. Hang on. Um, so I stamped with the watercolors here. So that looks fantastic. Love that. We have used mask to the Alice in Wonderland mask and stencil here to do a, with a spray and a Distress Oxide ink to do a positive and a negative with the Alice. I also stamped with it. We used the gel press to do a couple of different things. So we stamped with a stencil, a dirty stencil. We used the gel press to get this really cool background image here. We used Lindy's sprays and a stencil here to create this lovely laid with the paper artsy stencil. We used, and then I stamped with it. So you can see it's got a positive and a negative there. We used, dun, dun, dun. Okay, this is probably a really underestimated effect. Using gel medium and a stencil to create a resist. And then we put a spray over the top. So this is really very cool. And we just don't use this one enough. Uh, the modeling paste and the spray I put on the floor. And that has dried up beautifully. Look at that shimmer, loving that. Uh, and that's looking fantastic. So, I mean, I could do, I could drop black ink down through that and it would funnel down through those, uh, through that dimension. It's quite textural as well, which is really cool. Um, we used acrylic paint here with a blending sponge to use a stencil to blend that out with acrylic paint that's worked a treat we use distress oxides and a blending tool or a um, blending brush to with the paper rose stencil with that one and then we stamped with it so lots of different uses there and the alcohol ink love that oh that's still a no, that one doesn't have the stencil on it. The, um, oh, the stencil one's on the floor. 
alcohol ink on a gloss cardstock. So let's pull this baby off and give it a reveal now that it's dried. So this is the one that I, the very first thing I did on camera. And if we pull, pull that off, oh, fabulous. You can see that it's still a bit wet there, but it's left that stencil design. Uh, and hey, Lou, could you grab the hand sanitizer spray for me, please, babe? Thank you. And now this is just hand sanitizer spray. I'm going to spray this, which is going to reactivate all of that alcohol ink. And that was perhaps a little generous, but you know, whatever goes. And I'm just going to press that down. And that hopefully will transfer. <laughs> yes. And I could have done that probably three or four more times, to be honest. And this is on plain white cardstock that I make cards out of. It's not fancy um, Yupo paper or anything like that. And it's soaked right on in and it looks so very, very cool. So there is another technique done with stencils. Um, so there we go guys, in the last hour we have done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, maybe 16 to 18 different stencil techniques, alright, so make it happen, okay, make something pretty, give it a go, make a card front, send me a card, make a Christmas card, send Louise and I a card, and you go in the draw to win a $25 gift voucher in December if you uh, send us a card. How does that sound? Um, so, yeah, plenty of things happening here today. Um, my next live Facebook will be at 1.30. And I'm going to be playing with metallic flakes in that live Facebook. So, uh, something a little pretty and shiny today. Um, and we have got, yeah, stamps, stencils and dies also at 15% off today uh, until the end of today. All right. So I hope you're all enjoying your Saturday. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Um, any orders today will go in the daily prize drawer to win a Natalie May scrapbooking stamp. Check out our massive clearance section as well as our postage special, which you'll find if you scroll back down on this page. Lots of information about that. Please pay postage. Oh, please pay postage at least once. It makes our life so much easier at this end. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Stay safe, wash your hands, kiss your kids. Uh, chat soon.